set up an e-commerce with stripe and framer hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial today i am going to show you how you can set up your e-commerce store with the help of a framer and integrating a payment method or a payment gateway with a stripe it is very easy and simple all you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you will be good to go the first thing that you need to do is to go to framer.com then you are going to uh, create a, an account within uh, the app or the website the second thing you are going to the uh, stripe then you have also to create an account within the platform so we are going to set up the payment getaway and you will be good to go now a little disclaimer guys everything created in this video such as email addresses phone numbers are created for the sake of the video and they are not used for any personal uses here i have entered the workspace of framer then i will see here the workspace that i am working with you can start a new project for example or you can go ahead with the project that is given to you let's go ahead and see here what do we have we have here some pages as you can see and we have a some home i am going to create a new page for the uh, for example a product page let's go to click and on the pages the plus sign then we are going simply to click or create a new page i'm going to put for example this page as a product page and we have it click on enter and this is the name of this page now on the page i can add some sections you click on here on the plus sign in the square we have here the pages you can go ahead and add a preset pages for example a blog article a sidebar or whatever you have we can add some sections if you want some navigation or menus let's start by adding a navigation i'm going to put for example this navigation it is a drop down menu as you can see here we have added a navigation you can go ahead and customize the navigation on whatever you want you can add or select whatever the navigation has i'm going back to the pages if you want to customize something you are going to click on layer and as you can see here we have the desktop and we have the navigation here we click on the navigation and also you can go ahead and customize it now let's go ahead and customize for example features i'm going to put products and here we have it now we are going to back to the pages this is a sample on how you can customize the header or the layer of the navigation that we have added and then we are going to add for example a menu i'm going to add a simple menu right here and i'm going to move it right here this menu you can go ahead and make it like that or make it right here this is up to you for example you can go ahead and select all of these you can put them right away uh, or you can go ahead and put it uh, wherever you want you can put it here grab it put it or place it whatever you want i don't need that menu so i am going to delete it i am going to add another th thing or a section uh, in the place of that menu let's go ahead and add this for example like that it is set up this is a double section i'm going to uh, delete that here delete the buttons also here also make that button disappear and here we have it i'm going to put this content page right here and i'm going simply to uh, zoom to fit and you can also add some sections i'm going to add a section like that and here we go you can go ahead and, and uh, make these and move them around or with, do whatever you want on them i'm going to make it a blank section and some pages let's go ahead and add something to this one when you click on it double click on it you can go ahead and choose an image to fill the the gaps on it i'm going to put for example this rosemary uh, oil like that this is a product Simply right here, I'm going to put uh, the title of the product, Rose Mary, Rosemary, like that, uh, Mint Oil, like that. You can go ahead and put it like this. And you can modify the font right here and put it whatever you have. We have the position of it. You can put it sticky. You can go ahead and put it a sticky position so you can put whatever you have you can also make 
uh, some uh, effects or some overlay overlays you can uh, see the text right here and you can customize it here we have the description i'm going to put a description right here grow your like that you're here like that here and get some thickness uh, and long lasting uh, for example let's go ahead uh, life of your scalp like that and then i'm going to put or add a something to this i can also add something like icons right here some buttons interactive you can add whatever you have here you can add some media as you can see you can add some forms you can add some icons interactive it is uh, here we have some custom fields menus or buttons it is up to you to choose whatever you have you can also add a copy clipboard a button a card block code block it is a very very customizable a framer is a very great website that can allow you to customize whatever you have for example here i'm going to add a text right here we have the text click on text then you are going to select the text right here i'm going to add it right here simply and or here i'm going to click on the text then i'm going to add it right here for example I'm going to put the uh, the price of this one. I'm going to put it sixty nine or sixty five ninety nine dollars. I'm going to put the dollar sign right here. Then I'm going to put the uh, the price on into this one or under this section. You can go ahead and put it wherever you want. To make that simple, if you want to move that text, all you have to do is to click twice on it and it will show up the navigation right here. We have here the text. You can put it outside the block or outside the stack that we have the content on it. For example, I am going to put it under title or under the description. As you can see, I'm going to put it under the title and then we are going to put the width of it. 20 let's see here no that's not what i want to do but i'm going to put it relative or fill for example you can go ahead and add it put like that or the height of it you can put it for example let's go ahead and add it 12 or maybe more 60 this is the height of the size like that i'm going to put 10 and here we have it here we are going to select this section and then we're going to see the text what do we have here the weight we have some regular the font also you can put the size of it i'm going to put it for example 36 or it is more than enough 25 here we have it and you can put the uh, bold title to it now let's go ahead to the button for example i'm going to I put this button i'm going to put by now by now this is the buy now button this is a buy now button by now it's not customized yet and here we have this button i'm going to put simply add to cart and here we have the text normally it will be showing up i'm going simply to uh, save these and simply i'm going to refresh the page and as you can see everything is set up now i am going to click on this page then i am going simply to convert it to cms page it is very easy the collection name i'm going to put product like that test product test like that convert simply and it will be converted as you can see here we have everything uh, set as a cms uh, uh, page you can go ahead and add some uh, content right here you can add a plain test whatever we have here we have everything set up here from the buy now button to the add to cart and also everything now we are going to the cms as you can see here i'm going to set here edit in cms and then you are going to simply click on the three dots here i'm going to add a link here we have a link 
you can go ahead and click on the link name it for example payment or pay then I will, I will let it right here put an enter and simply we are going back to stripe here on this stripe you are going to uh here to to the dashboard then we are going to click on more uh simply you are going to put a payment link right here create a payment link if you have set up the payment link already you can go ahead and select it or if you are going to set up for this one you are going to select the product for example this is a sample you can add a new product i'm going to the template for example this is the template or you can add a, a new for example let's go and remove this product i'm going to add a new product i will name it shirt like that in description i'm going to add shirt you can add the image of the product for example or it is not a shirt i'm going to put oil here we have oil also oil and here we have to upload the image so the customer will know what they will buy and here one off i'm going to put the price of it for example 59 or 99 or like that i don't remember the price like that I, let me see the price it is 65 it is 65.99 here we are going to add the product and simply it is added here we have to add the customer for example we are going to collect the customers and then we are going simply to uh, put the after payment here the confirmation page and here we have some options to post a, a payment invoice you can uh, add it or send it to the customer click on create link and simply we are going to copy the link go back to framer right here i'm going to click on uh, this uh, cms and into the link here we have to add the uh, link that we have added as you can see it is uh, guided right here now let's back uh, go back to the design right here i'll click on the buy now button and on the buy now button we can see here the link you are going to click on the link right here and then we are going to see what do we have i'm going to put for example link to pay let's see if we have pay yes and it is a link you can go ahead and add for example another link if you are not uh, sure of yourself you are going to add the link directly to the buy buy now buy now button and it will take them to the stripe platform that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one